Watch that man, he's plotting. He's a member of a strange organization that spends all its time plotting with cameras and all sorts of optical instruments. An unobtrusive army of men on the alert, spying out the land. Plotting and what they're plotting are maps. Britain is the world's greatest map-making country, perhaps because we're a seafaring race that learnt the importance of maps and charts generations ago when we went exploring the world. So we acquired the skill and the long experience that has made us supreme in this intricate craft. When a map has been drawn in detail, it must be photographed to make a printing plate of it, and that calls for a camera as big as a fair-sized room. If the man said, watch the dicky bird, you'd expect an ostrich to pop out. The photographic equipment here was specially designed for the Ordnance Survey Commission, the most advanced and accurate camera of its size in the whole world. Only two others that come anywhere up to it are in existence. Compare it with the box cameras you use for holiday snapshots. A map showing rivers and roads, hill contours, place names and various colourings to show the type of country will be photographed several times in different forms, for only two colours can be printed at once from the meticulous blocks they produce. This printing machine, which was made in Leeds, will print 5,000 spot-on Ordnance Survey maps an hour. This colourful world in miniature and minute detail. They'll be sold all over the world as well, for this is one of Britain's great export industries. These maps are the crucial tools of town planners and travellers, armies at war and hikers at peace. Maps from here have given prisoners an escape route and saved men's lives in the desert. If we hadn't been famous for anything else, map making would have been enough to put Britain on the map.